Well, a very warm welcome to White Hart Lane, North London rivalry. It's Tottenham against Arsenal in the Barclays English Premiership. And what a match in store here. Arsenal have struggled of late. The reigning champions have taken just two points from the last three matches. And, of course, today marks the first official Premiership game in charge for the new Tottenham head coach, Martin Yol. Well, there's no love lost when these two meet. The last four White Hart Lane North London derbies have ended in draws. But Arsenal, these players aren't used to being off the top perch in the Premiership table, but they are for the first time since January. Chelsea are the new Premiership leaders. And Arsenal offer the sternest of tests for Yol's Tottenham today. All these Arsenal star names were rested for the midweek League Cup progression when Arsene Wenger fielded half a reserve and half a youth team which was good enough to beat the side third in the Premiership, Everton, to get through to the last eight of the League Cup. Spurs have joined them in the quarter-finals as well. They had a heartening 3-0 win at Championship Club Burnley. So both sides with eyes on a trophy as far as the League Cup is concerned, but for Arsenal, only one trophy matters, and that's winning the Premiership. Arsene Wenger still maintains he puts that above the Champions League. Steve Bennett will be the referee today. Patrick Vieira and Ledley King lead out the respective sides to a cacophony of noise here at White Hart Lane. It's a full house, you won't be surprised to hear. Spurs lock horns with Arsenal in the first North London derby of the season. Teams will line up for the usual pre-match ritual now of handshakes. Glorious day, perfect conditions. And a big test for Ledley King, the Spurs skipper Paul Robinson, the goalkeeper, who's been in excellent form so far this season for Tottenham, who began the campaign very well under Jacques Santini. The Frenchman has now left, of course, but Spurs didn't lose in their first six, but they have lost four Premiership matches in a row. Well, Spurs make one change to that starting 11 at Burnley, a 3-0 win in midweek in that League Cup. Swedish international left-back Eric Edman, who's been out recently with a serious bout of concussion, returns in place of Stephen Kenny. Uh, Kelly, signings already of the 11 players that new head coach Martin Yoll will give first choice to. Simon Davis, Jamie Redknapp, Freddie Canute all started the last Premiership game, but they must make do with a place on the substitutes bench today. As for Arsenal, as expected, Arsene Wenger recalls his entire first choice 11 for this one. He rested them all for that midweek League Cup win over Everton. Four of that side make the bench, Van Persie, Flamini, Hoyt and Almunia. What a day for the new Spurs head coach Martin Yol. He was in caretaker charge against Charlton. Perhaps significant that his first uh, game as caretaker produced a five-goal thriller. That's more like uh, Tottenham. Jens Lehmann back in goal today for Arsenal. He's lost only once, the German goalkeeper, in a league game with the Gunners. And, of course, it was that defeat at Manchester United. Robbie Keane back amongst the goals, which will be heartening news for Spurs fans. Warm handshake between Wenger and Martin Yol, who knows a thing or two about the English game. He was a player with West Bromwich Albion and Coventry. 
six great years at RKC Volvic and Frank Arneson, the sporting director or director of football, if you like, at Tottenham. Had a similar role at PSV Eindhoven and although he and Joll weren't firm friends, they knew one another in the Dutch league and uh, hoping to forge a relationship. The two very familiar faces, Sven Joran Eriksson and of course Jürgen Klinsmann alongside him and now German national team coach and once a fine striker here at White Hart Lane with Tottenham. Terrific atmosphere as you would expect. Spurs down in 14th place. Arsenal unusually for them sitting in behind Chelsea. But of course first opportunity for Arsenal with a win to go back to the top and put pressure on Mourinho's Chelsea again. Here's Edmund. Swept forward by Carrick. Now Pamaro. This is the Portuguese Mendes, who again has got a right-sided role for Tottenham with Carrick and Brown playing at the heart of the Spurs midfield. The young 18-year-old Swiss uh, Ziegler's Going down the left side of the Spurs uh, midfield. And let's get a first word of the early afternoon as it is in England from Paul Walsh. Yeah, Kevin, I'm just really just firstly to say I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, it's all set up, great footballing conditions, a great atmosphere. Um, Arsenal just having a little bit of a struggle of late, but uh, Tottenham with all the various changes, not having the best of times either. Four losses in the Premier League on the spin, but this is a great level of this fixture. It's a decent start from Spurs. Here's Pamaro. Cross at any genuine quality. Made life easy for Arsenal. And the Reyes is closed out. Mendes. Expects Spurs to be working the first touch of the Arsenal players in the opening 20 minutes. Very much something Crystal Palace did to good effect last week and fully deserved their draw. Yeah, I think you're right there, Kev. They've got to earn that right, you know, to win the ball and to play themselves. But they've got to stop Arsenal at the same time, and that means working ever so hard in the midfield. That's where I think it's going to be very interesting in the centre. Lundberg. to link with Henri, somewhat surprisingly. Climb by Cole. Mendes is a central midfield player by nature, but uh, they're looking for a little bit more width in their play, Tottenham. Whether Mendes uh, long-term can provide that consistently, you know, Time will tell. Simon Davis is a player I know that you like, uh, Paul, yeah. but only a substitute today. Yeah, a little bit surprising, really. And, uh, you know, he's got a, a good engine, he's a, a good range of passing, works very hard and can deli deliver a good cross. So I'm a little bit surprised that maybe he's not in the starting lineup. Um, trying to be nice and solid in the middle of the midfield. I think they know they've got the battle on with Fabregas and Vieira keeping them at bay. But uh, these are all the interesting little duels all around the pitch that makes it, make this game so interesting. Ziegler, who I've also been very impressed with for Tottenham. Just being be interesting to see how he can get into this game. He's uh, up against Lauren and, and Lundberg down that left hand side. Um, be interesting to see how he gets on. Only 18 years old. It's a truly astonishing performance by the Arsenal youngsters to beat a full strength Everton side in midweek. Arsenal serving notice on the rest of English football, just uh, the strength of the squads. They could probably field three sides that could hold their own in the Premiership at the moment. No truth, uh, by the way, that the Arsenal ladies will be appearing in the League Cup next season. This is Keane. Oh, Vieira. 
given away by Bergkamp to Edmund. It's an interesting pass. It's Jermaine Defoe. Chance now, Mendes. Sprawling save in the end by Lehman. Whose throw out wasn't good. And back come Tottenham again. Arsenal on the back foot. Yeah, certainly a great little spell there for Tottenham. Defoe picking the ball up just in that inside left channel. Got his head up, got turned, and picked out Mendes on that far post area. And it was a, it was a good contact. And uh, has made Lehman's make a, the first save, real save of the game early on. Here's Eric Edmund. Played an hour for the reserves, the Swede, in midweek. Wasn't uh, expected by many to be pushed uh, back into first team service as quick as he has, but they're suffering a lot of injuries to left backs at the moment. Spurs, no uh, Tariko, and no uh, Christian Seeger, and Timothy Atuba, who can play left back or left midfield, all injured and unavailable to Yol who will be happy with the start. Yeah, I think he will be. Just that one little incident there with Defoe getting in on the left-hand side, you could tell straight away it gave the Tottenham fans a big lift, it gave the players a lift. They popped the ball around quite nicely. It was a nice little ball out to Mendes, who just strayed that slightest bit offside. Touré. Vieira. This game has also come a little too early for Sol Campbell to make his return to the Arsenal side with a calf injury. I understand he's recovered from that now, but clearly uh, short of match fitness at the moment. For so long, of course, Campbell played in the white of Tottenham. Now Ziegler has got away from Lauren. And across came Toure with a very well-timed tackle. But again, we see the youthful promise of Reto Ziegler. Yeah, good imagination there from Ziegler, just letting it run through his legs. I thought once he got the ball there, he was going to deliver it in early, took another touch and just ran it into Lauren, really. Reyes. Said on the 18 came from Grasshopper Zurich Ziegler, Swiss under 21 international. It's a good play by Mendes, and he presents it straight to Sigon. Touré. Fabregas. Lundberg came into trouble by a sloppy pass from Lauren, and Arsenal haven't uh, settled yet. Haven't really been allowed to by this bright start from Spurs. Yeah, it's strange to watch Arsenal. They're getting the ball, and normally they do things spontaneously and move the ball so quickly, got so much imagination. Um, with movement off the ball when players are on the ball as well and uh, they're having to stand and look and, and, and try and look for spaces and look for things to play and it's not just on it, I mean, that's all credit to Tottenham, they're closing down and working very hard. Something they didn't do this time uh, last week when they were early goals down to Charlton had a very poor first half, improved immeasurably in the second and almost came from three down to pinch a point, it ended 3-2 in Charlton's favour in the end to make it nine London derbies without a win for Tottenham. Cole. Wayward of Reyes. Strong 
forceful play there from Michael Brown, not much part of his game. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with Michael Brown just as he was coming, coming through the, the ranks of Manchester City. Determined young man, likes to tackle. Now, the left foot of Eric Edmund will look to put some quality on this. Both King and Nabet are forward from the back. Right through them all in the end. It wasn't a bad uh, delivery from Edmund, but the main men he was aiming for rather got sucked underneath the free kick. Foul well by Noe Tamaro. Quiet word from Steve Bennett, the referee. Well, I think he's just landed on his, his shoulder there and the, the, the top of his arm is struggling a bit. First thing he'll be worried about is has he dislocated it in any way? Reyes will be in the uh, Spanish squad for the international friendly next Wednesday against England in Madrid. Longberg. Slip there by Edmund. Towards uh, Freddy Longberg with a chance to find the outstanding youngster Fabregas with a throw. And there's Freddy Longberg again. Defoe oh, just tried to squeeze that through for Robbie Keane. Paul Robinson wisely wearing a baseball cap in the first half. He's playing in that uh, section of the pitch which is in the bright sunshine. Away to our right hand side. This is Edmund. Caught there by the Swede, Edmund. And Lundberg just trying to roll Edmund there inside. And don't know if he just got his studs down the back of Lundberg's ankle. Doesn't look like there was too much in it, to be honest. But uh, maybe a little bit of a tug at him, but I didn't see too much contact with the actual ankle, unless he's gone over on it. International teammates, of course. They'll know one another's games very well. This is Ashley Cole. Swept clear by Carrick, but Arsenal with Fabregas. Bergkamp. Vieira underneath the header. Vieira got away from Brown. And then from Mendes. And superb defending from the Spurs skipper Ledley King. Just gets better and better with every game, it seems. That yeah, was great play by Vieira, though. Rode the challenge of Michael Brown, rode another challenge, and then just looked to, to slip that ball into the inside left channel. But as you say, Ledley King read it, got himself across, covered brilliantly well, and, and uh, just snuffed out the danger. Arsenal slowly but surely just getting themselves back into the game starting to string a few passes together looking a little bit more menacing Arsenal's hunger for another Premiership title it's only been sharpened by their surprising run of results, by their standards. Two points in the last nine, they won't be pressing any panic buttons, but they haven't a great record here in recent times. I mentioned earlier, the last four North London derbies have been drawn, so they knew before a ball was kicked there would be no easy pickings for them at White Hart Lane. Spurs have another throw.
Mendes. See, Arsene Wenger is not happy that they haven't retained the ball there. Unusual for Patrick Vieira to, to waste a possession like that. I think that's a credit to Tottenham in the pressure that they're putting them under when they're on the ball. Somewhat unusual shot there of Arsene Wenger, normally very urbane and doesn't show any yeah. uh, great outward emotion. Well, I think he knows already at this stage of the game, 15 minutes in, Kevin, that Arsenal aren't playing anything like they can. And it's partly down to Tottenham not, not allowing them to, but at the same time, you still expect them to be able to impose themselves a little bit better than they are. Looking to do that now, but lost out rather cheaply there, Arsenal. This is Pedro Mendes, Keane wants the pass played early. Mendes tried to provide it, but not in the area Keane wanted. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I can relate to Robbie Keane exactly what he was uh, feeling there because there was a very small window of opportunity where Mendes could slide that ball into him and he delayed it two or three seconds and it just closed up and uh, that infuriated Robbie Keane who knew the chance was there but was gone. Cole. Room for Reyes in which to turn. And there's an offside flag against Henri, I think. Pretty tight in the end. Yeah, it was close. And Tottenham just getting the benefit of the doubt there. Robert Perez, who's been struggling with a kidney infection, which has uh, rather blighted his uh, season so far. And he's had a bit of a run in with Raymond Dominic, the French national team coach to such an extent that Perez has been left out of the French squad for the forthcoming friendly against Poland. Keen. Hey, hey. use of the shoulder. I thought he just showed good strength there, Robbie Keane, just got his arm out, held Sigan off, didn't allow him to get in front of him and, uh, and take the ball. Spurs just edging it in terms of possession. But well aware of the threat that Arsenal have in the locker. It's a, it's a stat that... But Arsenal wouldn't have uh, to their disadvantage in many situations, normally have a lot of the ball, a lot of possession. Today Tottenham just shading it so far in this game. Carrick. It's misjudged by Seagull, and this is Defoe. Keane in the middle! And the ball took a couple of ricochets, first off the goalkeeper, then an Arsenal defender, and Sigon got out of jail. Yeah, great play by Defoe, and then Sigon there, just getting the wrong side of it, should never allow him to do that. When Defoe fired the ball across, I thought he'd hit it too hard, but it was a very narrow little alleyway where he had to feed the ball into. Ziegler's corner. Back out to Reto Ziegler again. This is Carrick, appealing for offside. And the flag was against Nuruddin Nebet. Yeah, there you see Carrick just helping it in. Both players really know they're offside. Nebet actually, if it had just been a little bit more careful and kept himself in line, with Defoe coming away from the play, Nebet would have been onside and I'm sure that that, that chance would have stood. Feeling in that challenge from Freddie Lundberg. And Martin Yola's pledge to the Tottenham fans that they'll see a stylish brand of football. And it's been that in the opening 19 minutes for them. 
swashbuckling too, which is very much your style as a, a midfield player in his day. Well, the two Swedes are having a bit of a go, aren't they, Kev? Tell you what the Spurs fans will, will like, the passion of Martin Yorley's down on the touchline there, his arms swinging around like a human windmill and he <laughs> showed great uh, passion as well the other night up at Burnley when they won 3-0 in the League Cup and shaking his fist and waving to the fans, even blowing them kisses at the end. And I think he's endeared himself already, the Dutchman here. Yeah, I think you're right, and I think he'll endear himself to the supporters even more if Tottenham put in more performances like they have so far in his first 20 minutes. They've worked ever so hard, you know, they've created two or three situations, uh, and they look decent side at the moment, I've got to say, and they've stifled Arsenal. Pretty high line that uh, Spurs were adopting there, which is always dangerous when that man's around. Yeah, I think you're dead right. I mean, I wouldn't expect them to be too far high, high up the pitch, you know, with all that space for Henri to the quality that they've got in midfield to deliver timely passes and the pace of Henri a suicide. There's no question that Nebet at 34 now is very susceptible to pace. Here's Henri. of time for Camaro, although he closed down eventually by Bergkamp. <laughs> Ziegler. Turn under pressure by Keane, who wants a return here. Mendes is wide. Brown just felt the challenge coming from young Fabregas. There's yeah, a good little turn by Michael Brown now, but thought maybe I think he always had it in his mind that he was going down. I think here you see uh, Fabregas did come into him, and uh, it's a good play by Michael Brown, though, I've got to say. Tottenham looked very lively. Ziegler taking charge of this free kick. Calls for Carrick. Very big day for Michael Carrick. He was signed, of course, from West Ham. Arsene Wenger was linked with him for a spell in the summer. But he eventually joined Tottenham and under Jacques Santini was rather frozen out. Didn't really get an opportunity. But you feel it's there for him now. Well, I said it was one of those strange situations where they spent three million on a player, but who bought him? Santini, Arneson, um, then he wasn't playing, which must uh, mystify the player to, to some point. But uh, now Martin Yole's in pole position and picking the side. Carrick's been in it for the last two games and uh, things looking a lot better for him. Henri. Lauren. Arsenal will settle for the throw. Lauren with a chance to cross. Flex away off Eric Edman. I can only recall once uh, Lundberg getting a cross in from the right-hand side. They haven't allowed Arsenal to, to work down either flank. Ashley Cole hasn't got forward on too many occasions, if at all. They funneled them through the middle and made it very congested. Tottenham with their, or rather Arsenal, with their first corner, which Jose Antonio Reyes wanted to work short initially, I think, with Henri. Henri's claiming that these Spurs players aren't back the full yardage.
Certainly knows how to make friends on Reed, doesn't he? There's Reyes then with a the corner. Deflected. It's a good fist away by uh, Paul Robinson. And now, tasty figure of Jermaine Defoe. Well, look who was back there, just nicking it off of his toes, Thierry Henry. Just shows you what a team spirit Arsenal have got. There's the Spaniard, Fabregas. Vieira. Should be Paul Robinson's. He hasn't really been under any great pressure so far, the Spurs goalkeeper. I think as well, you, you look there, Dennis Bergkamp is virtually in the left back spot, and Ashley Cole is in front of him. That's how much or how little of the ball that Dennis Bergkamp's had so far in this game. He's gone starting to look for it now because he wants to get involved in the game, wants to influence the game. But he's ended up having to pull himself right out there to get a touch of the ball. Keane. Edmund. We just saw Jens Lehmann edging a yard or two off his line, and Eric Edmund went for a, a spectacular. Justin Hoyt, one of the Arsenal youngsters who performed so well against Everton in midweek. These two fierce North London rivals were kept apart in the quarter-final League Cup draw. Arsenal got Manchester United. <laughs> and uh, Arsene Wenger, I think, almost certain to still play as uh, half-reserve, half-youth side. That should be a very interesting game at Old Trafford. Equally interesting, Spurs at home to Liverpool in that competition. Yeah. Sort of makes it interesting to, to see what Alex Ferguson's going to do, doesn't it? Will he play his full-strength side or will he try and do a similar thing? There's a lot of psychology with those two. Plenty of time here for Nabet. Now Lundberg. Henri looking to make a run down the middle. Lundberg tried to feed that run. Here's Mendes. I think that could be Tottenham's undoing, you know, Kevin. If they play and leave too much space for Thierry Henry to just duck in behind with the quality that they've got in midfield to deliver that final ball, I think Tottenham could find themselves in trouble at some stage. Spurs have managed only eight Premiership goals this season. They look to improve upon that. As Vieira has been spoken to by Steve Bennett, and uh, Michael Brown hasn't been too far away from uh, Patrick Vieira in this uh, opening for nearly 29 minutes. The referee looking to keep a lid on it between that pair. Cole. There's Henri. Ashley Cole have made a clever run, beautifully found by Henri as well. And the flag is up. That was a pity because it was a good move. Yeah, it's a great ball. And as you can see there, I think Tottenham are trying to force Arsenal inside so they don't get into those situations. But it's such a great bit of movement, such a great little pass through. 
Now that's what's going to unlock the door at some stage. Arsenal are always capable of that. Can Tottenham cope with it? When Tottenham have been on the ball, they've been relatively productive. Defoe and Keane always looking at danger. Carrick's working hard in the midfield. And they look relatively sound at the back as well. Lehman needs to deal with Keane bearing down on him. If your allegiances are with uh, Tottenham today, be very happy with the start. But now Reyes finding a little bit of room almost for the first time. Stretching was Edmund to get the ball out of harm's way. Dennis Bergkamp thought he might have an opportunity to strike a clean volley there. Yeah, just got put under enough pressure not to be able to make it a clean volley. It breaks off the head of Ledley King and bounces out for an Arsenal corner. The second time in as many minutes, though, Arsenal just getting a little bit of joy down the left-hand side. 32 goals Arsenal have scored already in the Premiership this season. Four times as many as their Derby opponents today. Not restricted to so little thus far. Here's Bergkamp. Good news for Arsenal fans is that Dennis Bergkamp says he's got... Uh, more years to come, feels very fit mentally and uh, physically at the moment. Yeah, but again, it's purely down to the Tottenham players putting him under so much pressure that he had to hurry to strike and in doing so sliced across the ball and couldn't get his, his unbelievable accuracy that we normally see him get. And again, once a credit, it's just a credit to Tottenham and how hard they're working at the moment. Arsenal just creeping into it and getting a little bit more joy. You see there, the possession stat proves that. Nabet. This is uh, the sloppy one, but problems for Ledley King and finding Robinson. Lauren. Oh, good first time ball from Henri. This is Freddie Longberg. Now Reyes. King's header to clear the penalty area. Maybe presumably will. Brown. Seagull. Bergkamp, Henri finding some room. Also really beginning to settle to their familiar rhythm. The pendulum is at the moment swinging their way. Cole, Henri. Now Carrick. Arsenal again. Yeah, they've really got a handle on the game now, Arsenal really putting Tottenham under pressure. Just up the tempo, the crispness of their passing, the movement, the imagination. All what we're used to seeing from Arsenal is slowly developing. Launching challenge from Michael Brown and Defoe. Looking to test uh, Toure and was there contact there from Paulo Toure? Steve Bennett thought so. Thought he did ever so well there, Torre. Put Defoe under so much pressure, he was always struggling to retain control of the ball. Didn't see that there was too much in. He maybe accidentally clipped his heels, but he was making Defoe have to, have to work so hard to retain control of the ball.
Michael Carrick to take the Tottenham free kick. Nabet and King forward again. Oh, and almost a free header there for Keane. Arsenal hadn't covered the run. And an inch, two inches at the most, lower, and that was 1-0. Well, I thought Robbie Keane was going to head it all of a sudden. It looked like he was just stepping, striding towards it, and he didn't go for it. I was amazed that he didn't score. Bergkamp. Must have been one of those optical illusions, Kev, because I just thought he was going to go and stride onto it. The ball looked like it was going straight for him. Feels for handball against Henri, and it's given. Five minutes have flown by here, as they tend to do, and rivalry is at its fiercest. And it certainly is between these two. Arsenal have been laughing in the face of Spurs these last few years. But Ziegler has got a free kick, it's gone against Lauren. Not to similar position from the one where Robbie Keane had that chance a moment or two back. Carrick again to take. Yes. And it's going to fall here. Chance goal. Tottenham. It's Nuridi Nebet. The Moroccan scores his first goal for Tottenham. And what a game in which to get it! Well, I'd have to say it's, it is against the run of play because Arsenal just starting to dominate the possession or were dominating the possession. Here you see Michael Carrick delivers the ball in. It's a shallow cross. I think it was Torre tries to win it in front of Ledley King. And it flies all the way to Nabet at the back post, who takes it on his chest. Nice and calm, lets the ball drop and finishes with a left foot, left foot strike. Desperate Arsenal defenders flying across the face of the ball, trying to block it. There you see Martin Yole, there's one delighted man, along with all the fo Tottenham faithful. What a moment for Nuruddin Nabit. Is that confirmed? Nabit was yellow-carded for his uh, celebrations. So a booking for the goal scorer. I don't think he'd be too concerned about that at the moment, but there is concern for the reigning champions. They are behind. It's confirmation of Nabet's yellow. So you're not allowed to leave the pitch either now? Is Presumably that, not. Well, I don't think he took his shirt off. No, he didn't, no. did he? You know. no. Arsenal have got another free kick to defend here. Driven in dangerously, oh, fabulous save by Lehman. He had to react and he needed every bit of his height here, Jens Lehman. Well, that's a great delivery in. Two players converging on Jermaine Defoe. He just managed to get that little flick on. The pace was on the ball. Looked like it was going to loop over Jens Lehman. Just gets his fingertips onto it and turns it over the crossbar. Martin Yol would have loved to have been going in at 2 0, wouldn't he? It very nearly was. It might still be from this corner. It's Keane working it short with Ziegler. Away by Toure. Brown. <sighs> Keane was through there. The ball had beaten the outstretched foot of Lauren. It's calmly done by Ashley Cole. Test of the character and resolve of Arsenal. Strange how football pans out, isn't it? The goal came in that good spell for Arsenal after Spurs have got off to that really bright and quick start. Yes, set it up superbly well, though. I mean, Arsenal now have got to come onto Tottenham and attack Tottenham. With 
a little bit more on the counter-attack, I should think. Well, they were having to play on the counter-attack because Arsenal had so much domination in possession. Clever pass. Mendes timed his run well. Excellent from Spurs again, and it needed a stretching header clear from Colo Toure. White Hart Lane is really buzzing at the moment with this terrific Spurs performance. Beginning to take the game to Arsenal again. Yeah, you can see the inspiration that the goal's given the Tottenham players, given the new lease of life towards the back end of this first half. Michael Brown, they're all getting around that little bit quicker, getting their challenges and, and really allowing Arsenal not to settle on the ball at all. One of the star Arsenal names that continues to be shackled. Little scene of Henri and Bergkamp thus far as well. Mendes. Pascal Sigon. Over through the legs there from Reyes and Bradley King just partially uh, holding up Thierry Henry. Support from Pamaro. Fabregas. Width provided here by Lauren. Somewhat unnecessary challenge there from Reiter Ziegler and the youngster has been booked. Yeah, I mean, Lauren's had a good first touch there and uh, just maybe showed him a little bit too much of the ball, enticed Edmund into thinking he could make the challenge, sorry, Ziegler, and um, he's lunged in and made the challenge, given Arsenal a free kick in a very dangerous position. Thierry Henry with the Arsenal free kick. Isolated one on one there, Seagon, but he couldn't do anything meaningful with the header. Uh, I think Pamaro just doing enough to, to hold him off. Arsenal have still got some work to do, of course, to get through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. They've got a difficult match away at uh, PSV Eindhoven coming up before they welcome the Norwegians Rosenborg to Highbury for their final group Champions League game the design set I'm going back to the top of the Premiership if they can get a favorable result here but they're a goal down Nuruddin Nebet for Tottenham Fabregas. Now Cole. Defoe. Ziegler. Oof. He's got an eye for a pass, this boy. Yeah. Jermaine Defoe flagged offside. Yeah, I mean, I've been very impressed with him. I watched him the other night at Burnley, and he, he knocked two or three great balls in. And for 18 years old, he's got a lot of composure. He's not, certainly not phased by this game. And he's got good vision, can pick things out. Offering a little bit of genuine width as well to the Tottenham play, which uh, has been lacking at times this season. This is Fabregas, well forward. Lauren, perfectly picked off by Nabet. Uh, 
Yeah, it was good defending by Nabet. He didn't dive in, just kept his eye on the ball, picked his moment and timed his tackle perfectly in a very dangerous position. Defoe. Once again, coming back from a, an offside position. Running here from Reyes. Now to Foe. Ashley Cole just getting back to supply some cover there for Sigon, who wouldn't like to get exposed in those areas against Jermaine Defoe. Yeah, I think when Defoe gets him one for one, he's certainly got the beating of him. But, uh, just managed to hold him up for long enough to, to get a bit of help on board minute to be added on at the end of a frantic first half and here's Henri brilliant control Thierry Henri does what he does best the Premiership's leading goal scorer gets his 11th of this campaign and Arsenal out of nothing so typical of them are on terms well the one thing you can't legislate for is brilliance and this is brilliant I mean, it's, a, it's such a hard ball to control, coming over his shoulder. I mean, Lauren picks out there, makes a little run in behind. Oh, it's touch and go whether it's offside or not. But the way he brings it down and regains his composure and a little cool side foot finish. I mean, that is a very difficult skill to do. And he's made it look quite easy and great composure and a great finish. And that's a real blow for Tottenham. Well, already you begin to wonder psychologically what that late, late first half goal from Thierry Henry will do to the ultimate outcome of this match. Interesting to see as well whether Spurs had a claim that Henri was offside. But it counts, Nabet and Henri, the first half goal scorers in this North London derby, which at the break at White Hart Lane is level. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Arsenal 1. Let's take a look back at the moment the goals came. Nuruddin Nabe. The 135th North London League derby is locked at 1 1. Nuruddin Nabet. Opened the scoring for Tottenham. Thierry Henry in earnest conversation there with Lauren. Got the equaliser right on the stroke of half time with his 11th Premiership goal of the season. Wonderfully taken goal as well. We wondered whether there was a possible suggestion of offside. We've looked at it again, uh, Paul Walsh, and uh, yeah. he looked, if anything, he was probably level enough. I think as a fully paid up member of the strikers union you think he should get the benefit of any doubt there was well i do i thought that that was the whole point of uh, the way that the, the referees were told to interpret the the rule um at one stage daylight was mentioned unless there was daylight um you know then the goal should stand and certainly it was maybe half a body in it but that's that's the maximum it was very close and i think he should get the benefit of the doubt there great finish neither side has made any substitutions for the second half And Arsenal will play from right to left in the second period. And the stats tell you that Tottenham should beware. Arsenal score the vast majority of their goals in the second half of games. That's been the way of it so far this Premiership season. Fabregas. I think Martin Joel's biggest job would have been to have tried to lift the players from the disappointment of conceding so late in that first half, telling them it's still a great result, they're playing well, things to look out for, and uh, make sure they get off to a bright start in the second half. Just the way they did at the start of the match when they really swept forward and took the game to Arsenal, who had to work hard to uh, preserve it at 0 0 until Nabet scored, as left by Lundberg. And King got a second bite at that, somewhat fortunately.
Cole. Vieira sharply in on Michael Brown, who got to his feet, and that was refreshing to see. Didn't make anything of that. It's a bit of a lunge from Vieira, but yeah. couldn't believe the referee never gave a free kick. Sliding in, you know, tackle from behind. You know, nine times out of ten, that's a free kick and possibly a booking. I'm all for letting the game flow, Kevin. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I'm just being consistent with what we've seen for most of the season. Yeah, point taken. Lundberg. Here's Lauren. Interesting little run. Try to feed Reyes. Toure. Bergkamp left that for uh, Lundberg. Oh. oh, and it's going to fall here for Reyes! Straight at a grateful Paul Robinson. Arsene Wenger can't believe it. Now, when it's fallen to Reyes, he's got one thing in his mind, trying to work it onto his left foot, and in doing so, has... You know, just took that one or two seconds too long. And in the end, his body shape was all wrong to hit it with his left foot. He could only hit it straight. He couldn't open his body up to slide it into the, to one of the corners. Must have been surprised, like we all were, that the ball presented itself at his feet. Well, I half expected to, to see an offside flag go up. Didn't happen. I couldn't believe there was two players in that much space in Tottenham's penalty area. Bergkamp going to be spoken to here by Steve Bennett. <laughs> Carrick. Keane. Trying to shrug off the attentions of Seagull. Well, he won't get too many better opportunities than this in the Premiership this season, Jose Antonio Reyes. Yeah, there you see Ledley King make an unusual mistake for him. Fender coming across the cover, just picked up Reyes, but uh, maybe he would have been better taken out with his right foot, but uh, as we know, he is very dominated on that left side. This is Fabregas. And straight into Nebet. Pedro Mendes, former Porto player. Ledley King did not want that pass. What a pace this second half has been played out in the opening four and a half minutes. Here's Bergkamp. No problems in the end for Paul Robinson, but there was a spare man in Lauren beyond that far post for Arsenal. Yeah, as you say, it's a very quick tempo. Tackles going in, the ball being shifted very quickly. Players having to do things under extreme pressure. Here's Mendes. Good cross. Oof. Very well defended by Lauren. Sort of crossing now that Keane and Defoe are very likely to feed off if Spurs can continue that sort of quality. Excellent play by Pamaro. He looks a pretty solid performer at right back for Tottenham, Noe Pamaro. This is stolen by Vieira. And now it opens out for Dennis Bergkamp. Vieira's made his run into the penalty area. Checked by King. Oh, you can't take your eye off it for a moment. Nice no, popping and fizzing everywhere now. Bergkamp. <laughs> Should have been an easy take for Paul Robinson, presumably. No call and Ledley King sought to take charge. Yeah, I mean, Ledley King would have seen Paul Robinson coming out there out of the corner of his eye. Maybe in the fierceness of the game, just thought he'd make sure, but he'd end up keeping his own team under pressure by giving the corner away. 
Henri across to join Reyes. Reyes decides to play it in long. Sigon got there ahead of Pamaro, but couldn't direct the shot, albeit at stretch. Yeah, Sigon there just gets into a great position. I think the ball's just on the rise, on the bounce as he makes contact, and that means the ball's always going to just be going up in the air. Pamaro just putting him under enough pressure there to make him have to do that. Uh, half a chance, you'd have to say. Vieira. Now Cole. Reyes. Lots of Arsenal possession. Free kick given by Steve Bennett. Pomero suggesting that Reyes was looking to take the easy dive. I don't think you could ever say he was diving there. Showed great skill, body movement, worked his way between two players, and I think he was clipped and he's gone down. I think it's as simple as that. I don't look at Reyes as a diving player. Calm down the message to Mrs. Pamaro uh, and Reyes, particularly the Spurs defender. He's a powerful man, Pamaro. Very strong thighs. Impressed with the way he kept up with Thierry on register. A few minutes earlier. Henri's free kick and no sting in the header from Lundberg. Oh, no, Robinson's lost oh. that. Goodness me. Just ran into his own man, Ledley King, Paul Robinson. This is Lundberg. Gets away from Pamaro, penalty. And it all stemmed from the horrible error from Paul Robinson. His side were immediately on the back foot and Pamaro has conceded a penalty. A oh, disastrous little spell for Tottenham when you think of it. Great strength from Freddie Lundberg, I've got to say. I'm just praising Pamaro, saying how strong he was, but he got around him, got in front of him, and Pamaro could only just hold on to him and bring him down. Certainly my first reaction was it was a stonewall penalty. When you look back to Paul Robinson's role in the situation, him dropping the ball, it led to Arsenal gaining possession. He'll be majorly disappointed, he can only really make up for it by saving this. And it's not Thierry Henry, it's Lauren. Now that has raised a few eyebrows around White Hart Lane. Can the Cameroonian hold his nerve? He can! And the champions have come from behind to lead in the North London derby. It's Lauren from the penalty spot. Uh, that's as cool as you like. Surely Steve Bennett's got to put him in the book. One or two of the Arsenal players were getting involved with some of the Tottenham stewards there. They were going over to celebrate with their fans in that far corner, Arsenal. I've got to say, Kev, I never saw too many Tottenham stewards when Nabet scored, did you? I mean, I'm just... Oh, it's amazing there, you see it. Poor he's got one hand in the ball. And he's sort of run into Ledley King, the ball pops out, Arsenal gain possession. There you see it slid into Lundberg. Shows great strength here, I've got to say, to hold off Pamaro. And he just does enough, clips his heels, pulls him down. And here's Lauren, nice and coolly, just slotting it in. That's a disaster for Tottenham, I've got to say. Here come Tottenham looking for an immediate reply. Oh, and the shot had Lehman scrambling at his near post, deflected shot from Jermaine Defoe, corner. Yeah, he just worked that little bit of space for himself as he cuts inside, gets the shot off, I think it took a deflection, just took it into the side netting. Robbie Keane will take the Spurs corner poorly. Turned away by Dennis Bergkamp, this is Mendes. One for Keane to chase, and eyes firmly on the ball from Lehman. Well, 
Martin Yall will be furious quite naturally with the way Spurs conceded that goal. Horrible well, moment for Paul Robinson. Yeah, I mean, you can work all week long, can't you, Kevin? But you can't legislate the things like that happening. OK, they, they lost possession in a poor area. He still had to get round Pamela. I thought Lundberg did brilliantly well. But uh, be disappointed with how they gave the ball up. Offside, Henri. He used to be Arsenal's regular penalty kick taker, but he had missed a couple in recent times. Was it Southampton he hit the post, was it? Yeah. Yeah, he missed one in Europe as well. Jermaine Defoe flagged offside. to Tottenham in the last ten meetings, home and away, league and cup. Stefan Everson and Tim Sherwood were the goal scorers the last time Spurs won against their fierce local rivals. A game in which Lundberg and Keown were sent off, I recall, for Arsenal. It was five years ago Spurs led in this match. But now they're 2-1 down, and Michael Brown has been penalised. Oh, and uh, to add insult to injury, he's going to get a yellow card. He claimed he got the ball. Well, I've got to be honest, I thought he did. Robbie Keane is pleading on behalf of his teammate, but Steve Bennett feels it's a yellow card offence. Yeah, there you see the error. Well, that's it. the trailing leg comes through and, and knocks him up in the air. I think he just did get the top of the ball, only just a fraction, but uh, the trailing leg is what's got him in the book. Pamaro. Brown hurried out of it. This is Burke Camp and Moody Nebet needed to intercept that. Lundberg was on his way. Oh, and Vieira is through the Spurs defence. Patrick Vieira! Arsenal in the comfort zone. The skipper. 3-1, they now lead Tottenham. And surely that's going to be enough. Well, uh, talk about shoot yourself in the foot. I mean, Nabit in the first instant showed great reading of the game and cuts it out. And there you see him coming out with the ball. The ball runs away from him. Vieira picks up. Gets a little bit of luck with the bounce of the ball, but it's through there. Draws Paul Robinson as he goes to ground, just lifts it over him nice and calmly. There you see there's Carrot, King, Nabit, all out the game. And he sticks at him with all the confidence in the world. Just as Paul Robinson goes to ground, lifts it up over it, a side foot finish. And there you can see the delight and ecstasy on Patrick Vieira's face and Arsene Wenger. What a difference. Around 45 minutes makes that face of Arsene Wenger was looking very concerned after Nuruddin Nebet put Tottenham in front, but now his error has led to Vieira make it 3-1 after an hour of the North London derby. Carrick. Defoe, Let's have a little turn from Jermaine Defoe, can he go all the way? Oh, oh he can! What that is finish. absolutely <laughs> sensational from Jermaine Defoe! What a reply from Tottenham, and one of the goal of the season contenders without any doubt. Well, I think sensational is a great description of this goal, Kev. And as it comes into it tightly, great feet, quick feet, drives in, Straight through and he strikes it brilliantly well. And Lehman's got absolutely no chance, can't even get anywhere near it, hasn't even bothered moving for it. It's that great a strike. This is a great angle to see it. Is it through the bottom upper part of the ball? 
And it's just dipped and sweetly gone into the side netting. And it's given Chutnam a lifeline. Well, what a match we've got on here. Reyes has bought himself and his side a little time here. But Jermaine Defoe, what a wonderful instinctive finisher he is. And I think Tottenham needed to do that quickly like they did, Kevin, just to give them a chance, you know, to really give themselves a realistic chance of getting back in this game. And that's given them a massive lift. Ziegler. Nice touch from Bergkamp to Jungberg. And the free kick is against Tottenham. The ground still buzzing after a quality goal from Jermaine Defoe. Nabet was making sure he wasn't going to get by him there. He's got to be careful, Nabet, that he doesn't give a silly challenge away because he's already in the book. Reyes. Spent more uh, time on the ground than on his feet in the last few minutes. And Michael yeah. Brown will need to be very careful. Yeah, you can see Steve Bennett just telling him to calm down, he's in the book. Doesn't want to let his teammates down by getting sent off the pitch. But the adrenaline is pumping and how. Mendes. And they almost came back from three down last week against Charlton Tottenham. Here's Defoe. Carrick. Good challenge from uh, Lauren and uh, Edmund. He's claiming a throw, but it's going Tottenham's way. Away by Fabregas. from goalkeeper Robinson is Defoe Edmund Carrick Ziegler Michael Carrick the run here of uh, Mendes, but that's too heavy. Well, I think you can tell what that's done for Tottenham's game. There's Simon Davis, Chris Hooten there, just giving him his instructions before he gets onto the pitch. Chris Hooten, the Spurs coach, been something of a survivor at White Hart Lane with all the comings and goings. whether Spurs are worried about Michael Brown. We've talked about him being on that yellow card and whether he might be the player to make way and they push Mendes in alongside Carrick. We'll see shortly because Davis will be on within a minute or two. Could be a straight swap for Mendes. Cole. Reyes, beautiful balance he's got. And uh, Maybet came in with a timely interception there. Now, Robbie Keane. Seems to take on Lauren. Mendes in the middle. Wants a little bit of support, Keane. It's a bit late in arriving from Michael Brown. He loves a nickel, doesn't he, Brown? He wants to be right at yeah. the heart of everything. But if he's going to stay on the pitch, Kevin, he needs to, needs to show that discipline and not do anything stupid. They're yeah. going to, if they're going to make this substitute, 
Substitution of Mendes comes off. Michael Brown in the middle of the park there has got to be disciplined, not make rash challenges. He's got to stand up and be a man, you know, not just diving in from all silly angles and, and getting himself into problems, getting sent off, because he's not going to do his team any good at all then. It's well read by Camaro. Carrick's foul this time. I think what you've got to appreciate in these situations as well, players are flying around the pitch so quickly, the slightest of touches, and they go sprawling down to the ground because of the pace that they're running at. Robert Perez is going to come on for Jose Antonio Reyes. And that'll be uh, presumably a straight swap down the left-hand side. And uh, Simon Davis, as you can see on the right of your screen, is ready to come on to for Tottenham with a quarter of the match remaining. searching for his best form after his uh, kidney infection which has uh, caused a few problems from this season body language of Mendes suggested he wasn't too happy to make way for Simon Davis as he departed to the dressing room yeah didn't look too pleased did he but uh, I think also Perez coming on is designed to maybe keep Simon Davis going the other way rather than influencing the game for Tottenham going forward Vieira immediately under pressure. Brown. Defoe. Carrick. And Dennis Bergkamp. Perez back with Bergkamp. Promising perhaps for Arsenal. And it's under the reach of Robert Perez. It's won back quickly again by Fabregas. Clever pass. Lundberg! Arsenal score again. Freddy Lundberg. But Cesc Fabregas, the young, talented Spaniard, had a big part to play in that. And Freddy Lundberg has made it 4 to Arsenal. Well, unbelievable the way that unfolded. Great play by Dennis Perkham. Tried to thread a little ball through, got cut out, then they won the ball back. Fabregas picks the ball up. And it looks like there's nothing on, and all of a sudden he reverses a great little pass. He's certainly onside, Lundberg. Shows all the composure that's required. And slots it under Paul Robinson, and just give Nasser a bit more breathing space. But that wonderful Jermaine Defoe goal had denied them. But they're back in pole position. Outstanding vision from young Fabregas, adding to his already burgeoning reputation. And that's why they're champions, because they can score goals out of nothing, Arsenal. well again seems like there's going to be a bit of a roller coaster ride under Martin Yol 3-2 against Charlton last week now they're 4-2 down here to the big heads from down the road Ziegler Perez Put out well by Carrick. It's a real blow to the solar plexus of uh, Tottenham. They've got a big lift after that outstanding goal from Jermaine Defoe. And now they have to dig very deep again.
Michael Brown. Space here for Michael Carrick. Brooks off uh, Lauren for the Spurs throw. And they got one back quickly from 3 1 down. Can they do it again? Bergkamp completely sold uh, Brown there. This is Pires. That is unbelievable skill. I tell you why, is because Brown was going for the little layoff and he just put a bit of backspin on it, let it roll between his legs and turned, and that's sheer quality. Vieira. Also fans begin to enjoy themselves as they side have some possession. Taking a tumble. Arsenal are going to be facing Freddy Canute before long. The Frenchman is getting ready to partner Jermaine Defoe. They won't want him injured at this point. They'll be looking to make it pretty much a front three as they have to now. Spurs. Nabet forward and King for the free kick and a goal! Ledley King! <laughs> And this astonishing match takes yet another twist. The Spurs skipper beats the flailing dive of Jens Lehmann, it's 4-3. Yeah, I mean, it's a great delivery in, and he just, well, he gets a little bit lucky because it's right in the middle of a cluster of red shirts, but uses his physical presence, fights for it, gets that touch, and the pace is on the cross, which allows him just to get that head on it, and it just drifts be beyond Jens Lehmann. There you see, look, three shirts all around him. He just manages to get that touch. That makes it 4-3, and it's game on again. Quite an incredible afternoon at White Hart Lane. And we've still got 16 minutes plus stoppage time remaining. Hold on to your hats, there's more to come. Stolen here by Tottenham. It's going to fall for Defoe. It was half a chance for Jermaine Defoe. I think he just needed the ball that little bit quicker. Had to wait a touch for it, gave the defender a chance just to get close to him to make it difficult. Perez. Camaro with the late trip. He's a little bit irritating at times, Pamaro. Every time he brings someone down, he's having a moan like they've dived. I think you can see that Ashley Cole gets the toe on the ball. Yes, quite agree, Paul. He knew what he'd done. No way, Pamaro gets back into a defensive position as Vieira and Sigon look to add their height into that Spurs penalty area. And... Paul Robinson getting a hand to that. I think it was travelling wide, but he couldn't be sure what was happening at his far post. Yeah, good delivery in, and you're always worried as a goalkeeper that, that, that someone's going to get that touch and you've got to react. And then if you go for the reaction touch and it doesn't happen, can always drift in your far post. But he had that one covered and uh, makes the save. Freddie Canute for Michael Brown. usual 100% Michael Brown and now an extra striking threat in Freddie Canute but his first action is to get back inside his own penalty area to help out defensively as Henri prepares to take the corner Sigon left it and it's Perez Yeah. It's an easy game from the commentary box, Paul, but he had time. <laughs> well, I think 
I know it looks like he's got time, but I think by the time he has a touch, he would have got closed down. So in his mind, he's telling himself he's got to take it on. There you see the Ledley King goal. Great strength, body strength to get himself to comp compete with those three players. A little bit of luck at the same time, but uh, nestling in the back of the net. I'd venture to say it's the game of the season so far in the Premiership. And full credit to Tottenham for showing immense character under Martin Yorl. I don't think they're going to lack for that. He wouldn't uh, accept it, really. And have they got another goal in them? Uh, the risk that Tottenham run now is obviously they're committing more bodies forward. They've got the extra man light in midfield. It's pretty much Arsenal were dominating anyway, but uh, this could be 4 4 or 5 3, couldn't it? I think. The next goal, if there is one, is likely to be decisive in terms of whether Spurs can pinch a point or whether Arsenal can stretch out again for the three points that would take them back to the top of the Premiership table at least for uh, a couple of hours or so until Chelsea play in another North London or rather London derby today against Fulham this is Canute doing well and it's hooked away by Vieira Nebet Ziegler Edmund Keen. Away by Defoe, but it's fully here for Carrick. He's normally a very clean striker of the ball, Michael Carrick. He'd be disappointed with that. Yeah, the opportunity presented itself. Defoe, you can see four or five players converge on him. A sloppy ball out, defence by Lauren. Comes to Carrick, and uh, you'd expect him to do better, I've got to say. This match has had every ingredient that makes the Barclays English Premiership the product that it is. Fabulous entertainment, look at that for goal attempts. Can't separate them for efforts on target. And here's Henri trying to dance his way into a shooting position with the hard-working teenager Ziegler. He's robbed by Henri, this is Freddie Lundberg. Spurs having to work hard at the moment, Freddie Lundberg. Vieira. Bergkamp. Pires. Marie's touch for one, letting him down. Arsenal preparing to bring further fresh legs to the cause. Robin van Persie. He's about to come on for Dennis Bergkamp, but this is Freddie Lundberg looking for Henri! Brilliant tackle from Edmund, still Henri. Pires, he's got the shooting oh. chance and he scores! Robert Pires! And yet another twist to this incredible chapter of North London derby history. Arsenal are two goals to the good yet again. Well, it's unbelievable, Lundberg comes in there and knocks a great little ball. I think Henri's first touch was excellent, but a great come across from Edmund to get the block, and I thought that Pires had missed the opportunity. Once he cut inside, I thought he's lost it, then he drags it again. This is where I thought he'd lost it, but great feet. Just gets a yard on Pamero, and he slides it under Paul Robertson to make it 5-3. Can Tottenham, Tottenham keep coming back? I just can't see them being able to do, any, do it anymore in these last ten or so minutes. Well, I said the next goal would probably prove decisive. And can Tottenham drag themselves back from a two-goal deficit? Three times now in this match they've been two goals down.
There are less than nine minutes plus stoppage time left. First official Premiership game in charge for head coach Martin Yoll. That's one he'll never forget. Perez stealing a somewhat sloppy pass. Spurs have been the architects of their own downfall at times in this match. Van Persie, by the way, amidst all these celebrations of the fifth Arsenal goal, is on for Bergkamp. Nice skill from Lundberg. Ashley Cole. Spurs have been so frugal in defence under Jacques Santini, but eight goals conceded now under Martin Yol in the last two games. And all will score goals. But Arsenal were helped, certainly, in two of their goals today. Lundberg. Okay, we'll go against uh, Ziegler. Van Persie. It's only Arsenal voices that can be heard inside White Hart Lane at the moment. It's Fabregas is fouled by Simon Davis. Truly astonishing match. Lundberg has had a significant part to play in this Arsenal second half. Ready Lundberg and Henri applauded the pass but couldn't provide the sure touch to it. Yeah, I mean, he's fired it in at Thierry Henry and that's how you like it. You know, he's got a great touch, Henri. The pace of the ball takes everybody out of the game then. And as long as you can kill it, you're in a great position. But it just got away from him. Ball is played out. There's an injury here too. Patrick Vieira, right on the small of his back. Gary Lewin on the Arsenal physio to administer to him. Time for a pause for thought. There haven't been too many occasions this afternoon to do that. Yeah, it's been a frantic game. Certainly, I think Tottenham will look back, and there was a couple of goals where they've been poor defensively. Um, but some great creative play as well from Arsenal. You know, you, even though at times in this game, certainly in the first half, they weren't at their best. Um, they've always got that extra gear that can come out at any time um, because of the ability and movement and quality they have in their side. But I've got to say, Tottenham have put up a great performance and that's going to be of little consolation in lots of areas um, because it's going to mean the fifth Premier League defeat in a row, um, which isn't good reading when you look at the league table, the st stats and all the rest of it. But um, I'm sure there's some pluses that Martin Yole can take out of this. If it is to be defeat for Tottenham, Certainly, there is something to work on for Martin Yol. He's got uh, forwards, as we've said, who can score goals, given the service. Frank Arneson, the sporting director. Daniel Levy, the Spurs chairman, alongside him. And an eight-goal thriller. We've seen the last of the goals. Yeah, he just filled it with the uh, the error knock there, just taking the sting out of things. Just hoping that they can have a comfortable last five minutes or so. A lot's been said, Paul, uh, this week uh, on the system that Spurs are employing with a 
director of football and a head coach haven't had much time amidst all the excitement today to ponder on the system what's your take on it well i just think it depends on what the definition of manager and head coach and what the responsibilities are those responsibilities um, on the continent maybe uh, are interpreted different to what we look at them as and um, i think if frank arneson is is buying the players in conjunction uh, with martin yol i mean he's he's actually picking the team um, then possibly it can work. But a director of football, as we've seen it with David Pleat there before, uh, with two different agendas, I think that's when it becomes problematic. And also with what we're seeing down at Portsmouth this week. You know, someone who's come in looking to be a director of the club and be Milan Mandrick's um, advisor on a lot of different areas, I think then you've got a conflict straight away and it's not going to work. But uh, it can be, depending on the definition of the roles, very problematic. Suffice to say that I don't think life's going to be too dull at White Hart Lane this season, one way or another. Sloppy from Henri. Ziegler and Canute! They've got another back! <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> Thierry Henri's error. And once again... Ziegler showing his eye for a pass and a fine finish from Freddy Canute. Well, very unlike Thierry Henry. It's a great little chip. He's in space. Henry's tried to make up the ground after giving the ball away. There you see a great little stand-up chip from Edmund. Canute comes onto it and a great side foot finish. And what an interesting end to this game. Well, they're going to be replaying, replaying and replaying again this match for a long time to come. Tottenham 4, Arsenal 5. Has there ever been a North London derby quite as dramatic as this one? Lundberg showing good aggression to get the better of Edmund. Spurs have got only 90 seconds plus any added on time and the expression changes again for Wenger so many emotions on and off the field in this remarkable match A little bit of trouble again by Ashley Cole at the back. And it's thumped away, no nonsense fashion by Polo Toure. Anthony Gardner is going to get on for the final few seconds now. Edmund was penalised for the challenge on uh, Van Persie. It's going to be three minutes of added time. You can see he's holding the injured area. <laughs> well, say no more about that one. Well, they do tend to hurt. <laughs> and here's Gardner. It's Robbie Keane who's coming off. Unless he's just going to stick Gardner straight down the middle and there. They're just going to hit the longer ball. I hope that he can get a knockdown and someone reacts off of it. Gardner certainly hasn't taken up a defensive no, position. Uh, certainly no benefit to Tottenham sticking him at the back, is there? So he's got to go up the front and see if they can just uh, get something from it. Steve Bennett urging Arsenal to get on with it. He said he's adding extra time on here. Unbelievable match. Still blinking in disbelief at the score at the top of the screen. <laughs> what do you think? 5-4, five, 5-5? Five, five. What's it going to be, Kev? Oh, go on, let's have 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> Up goes Gardner, that's exactly why he's been sent on by Martin Yol. Four minutes injury time. Added two after that injury to Van Persie. 
Now then, this is going right in the mix from Robinson. Uh, push and some respite for Arsenal. Gardner, the offender. Yeah, just an angled ball from Paul Robinson, just looking for Gardner, just see if he can help it down into the penalty area. And that's where you need that bit of luck just to, with a bounce, just to get a lucky bounce to one of your own players who can get a finish in. There's Henri, might just get to this, and does, or did he? No, pretty close to keeping it in. Welcome to the Premiership, Martin Yol. Still a couple of minutes yeah. left, handball. Yeah. Spurs have another opportunity to send a long one forward. White Hart Lane be in danger of collapse if Spurs find another goal, I tell you. In by Pamaro. Oh. Nobody able to feed on the King flick on. He was looking to play it across the penalty area. He didn't get firm enough contact. Yeah, as the ball's put in, he's just having to come away from the ball, trying to head it back, which is always slightly more difficult to judge. And just going out for a goal kick and just giving Arsenal that little bit of breathing space that they need. Whatever they paid to get in, it's been cheap. Paul, I'm bound to ask you, Arsene Wenger's uh, emotions after this one. Well, if he comes out and it stays 5-4, I'm sure he'll still be delighted. Um, defensively, I think he'll have a few question marks over some of the goals. Um, Defoe's goal was an absolute stonker, wasn't it? And um, but, but he won't like the fact that his side's con conceded four goals this afternoon. Here we go, Paul Robinson, we're into the last 40 seconds. Can Spurs forge... A memorable equaliser here. Sigon, the header down, it's going to break again for Spurs. Perez, wasn't the header he meant? And the shot whistles wide from Simon Davis, and is that Spurs' last opportunity? Well, that's a little bit of luck you need sometimes, where you get a lucky break, the ball falls for you, someone gets a strike on, it fell for Simon, Simon Davis, Pires just doing enough cutting across and getting a foot across the ball just to put him off. I just think that helped him pull the shot. Four minutes of stoppage time is up, and Spurs are back on top of the Premiership in incredible fashion. Handshakes all round. But this will be a game that will live in the memory for a long, 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 long time to come. Martin Yol's first official ch uh, game in charge as head coach of Tottenham. Few of these players who've been around the block a few times will have played in a game as quite as incredible as this one. Arsenal, top of the Premiership, at least for now. Unbelievable game. Nine goals, and Arsenal come out on top by five goals to four. Try and keep up, seven goals in the second half. Lauren from the penalty spot made it 2-1. Patrick Vieira, after a mistake by Nuruddin Nebet, gave Arsenal a two-goal cushion at 3-1. Goal of the game, goal of the season.